Cardano takes a giant leap towards recovery as ADA price surges to its target, also a resistance area. Also a huge resistance area, one as big as the one that we saw at the bull market high. What is up, Ray One? Thank you so much for coming by Crypto Capital Venture. This is the Cardano video. I am up and at it very, very, very early today, for me anyway. Cardano making a little bit of a move in the last few hours or so. This is a weekly chart. It's a weekly chart we want to see. There is a really, really awesome story being told here on the Cardano chart, on the weekly chart, extending all the way back to smart contracts, right? The Alonzo hard fork the consolidation and the pain that we've endured since then. And I want to break down that story real quick on the six hour chart. We can kind of see there's the move so far on the six hour from a dollar 20 to right around a dollar 60. And I want to zoom out and dig all the way into that move so we can anticipate. So we start, we can start looking, well, what's potentially next for Cardano. So this was, and I'm not going to show a clip. This is from, you know, December 13th, 2021, dollar 22 Cardano. We were talking about the area that it was actually kind of consolidating at, mainly because it was hitting a really, really key target area. Actually, a couple key target areas that you see out of these patterns here that we were tracking right in that $1.20, $1.30, $1.40 range. Now, going to the weekly, this is what it looks like. This is the structure. This is the formation that we were anticipating uh, in that video. And you can see that larger triangle there. So that structure was a speculative symmetrical triangle we can kind of analyze and view on the weekly chart and this is what it looks like thus far since the bounce off of that lower trend line making its move what we ultimately want to see is that move in this general vicinity the upper trend line touch now if we're looking at this weekly chart from the swing high to swing low you can see confluent with that upper trend line is a more macro looking fibonacci retracement fibonacci resistance that's that you know Bitcoin, crypto in general, continuing in this bull market, this would be the the, the bull, bullish confirmation area that we see Cardano break. And right now, that is right around $2.10 to $1.87 area, the upper trend line. Notice, confluent with that area, the 20-week moving average. So that's on a, on a grander scale, right? This, this current move that Cardano is in, this would be what we want to see, Cardano revisiting this area and that's that'll be a fun video if if cardano can get there but the current move that has happened let's let's see where we are huge huge resistance and i mentioned in the intro as big as big re, as big of resistance as we saw back here at the bull market high i don't know if many of you remember but if i go to a daily chart and i zoom out when we were kind of tracking cardano in this crazy last consolidation and this was all the way back in like may to July, it was kind of just a very similar scenario as what what recently happened, this huge dip, right? Little different, but we were tracking Cardano breaking out and we were talking about a 290 area kind of target for Cardano out of this very large uh, zoomed out pattern, right? Cardano hit that target all the way up here in the $293 range. It was just overbought. You can go see overbought in the daily chart. It was extremely overbought. And that resistance was really, really big. Now, since then, Cardano hasn't seen, because it's been in a downtrend, I should say, hasn't seen like a really big resistance area, a monumental. Now, this resistance isn't as big in terms of Cardano being overbought, but it's as big in terms of Cardano making this reversal, this bullish reversal that everybody wants to see off of this swing low now that we have in the dollar 20 range and it's big resistance. So let's, let's start digging into that resistance. Let's start talking about, you know, why it's so big of resistance and what Cardano needs to do to break it. So I, I want to start, this is a very, very quick clip from four days ago. The last video that we did Cardano just had hit around right around a dollar 50, just under, and that was a target that we were tracking for Cardano, but check this out. That's a resistance area I'd be very, very much aware of. And you can see it's right around a dollar. It's like a dollar sixty, dollar sixty five. If you go to the daily chart, isn't that interesting? The 50 day moving average, that next barrier for Cardano to break right there at a dollar sixty 
So that was our that was our next move that that we were looking for. And here on the daily chart, there it is. There's that. Let me get rid of this green line that we charted. And we were tracking in that video. But look at that. Look at that touch at the 50 day moving average. And that is that confluent resistance area around a dollar sixty on the six hour. What that is, and we were illustrating it was right around this lower trend line of the falling wedge. And that falling wedge is extremely important. So what that is, is boom, not drawn perfectly, obviously, but it's that lower trend line because Cardano broke out of that to the dollar 20 range. Now we're revisiting it after hitting the target in the dollar 20 range. And that is just such a consistent move in crypto, not just Cardano, but to, to break out and, to, and then to revisit the breakout trend line, even though it's much lower now, right now around $1.60, it's still revisiting its resistance now that it's confluent with these moving averages, the 50 day moving average. And look at this, the 50 week moving average. Cardano right now is at huge, huge resistance because now it's not only is it at resistance on this kind of short term scale, but going all the way back and zoomed out on the weekly chart, it's at a huge resistance area. It just happens to be the, the 50 week moving average on the weekly chart. The reason why that's such a key area is is generally in bull market environments, a crypto will consistently trade above that. In bear market environments, a crypto will consistently trade below it, right? You can go to Bitcoin on a a weekly chart. Let me go to Bitcoin weekly chart just to give you an illustration. So here's Bitcoin in this current bull market, for instance, even seeing support at it, it fell below the 50 week moving average slightly a couple times, right? You can see it on the weekly chart, but generally trading above. And then here's the last bull market trading very, very much above in a strong bull market above the 20 week moving average, a green line. Now here's the bear market, right? Trading below both. So we just, we don't want to see Cardano fall into this, into this pattern now, into this trend where it's not only falling below, but now it's seeing resistance below for continuation down because that's that's actually a scenario here it's not one i'm really doing a video on right now we can do one on that because i think it's extremely important to prepare for downside but this is where cardano is testing this really meaningful moving average on the macro chart and cardano really really needs to get above that moving average that 50 week moving average it's right around dollar 58 to a dollar 60. it's where cardano is right now so going here to this chart now We've already, and, and this is this is how it's played out in the six hour. Cardano has already, out of this pattern that we were tracking, hit the dollar fifty target. In that last video, four days ago, after it hit the target, we were looking for some type of just consolidation, right? Since it hit a target. That's often what we see. Consolidation. We got the consolidation. We could probably zoom in on an hourly and see kind of a symmetrical triangle of consolidation. Cardano broke out, hit a target pretty much perfectly out of that symmetrical triangle to our next resistance area, the target we were tracking in that video, $1.60 range, which is now resistance. And now, since we've hit resistance, we're looking for Cardano to do something similar to what we were looking at $1.50. Some type of structure, some type of consolidation before the next move. And what I wanna talk about now is two things, the move to the upside and downside. And let's start with the downside. The downside is the same as it always is. It's that previous swing low to let's let's continue this up on the midterm scale to now this this swing high. We haven't gotten this big dip yet. So I always want to just move this support up as Cardano goes up. It's very, very important to do this because these are the moves in crypto we see so often. It could be a retrace, especially at this huge resistance that we just looked at. Huge retrace from this dollar sixty area of resistance back down potentially to a 618 now at a dollar 35 to the 786 a dollar 28 this wouldn't be necessarily a bearish move this could be very normal in this longer term story of reversal from this area down here right so it would simply be a higher low and maybe we get continuation after that going into january right so to the downside we want to be prepared for that scenario now to the upside if cardano can manage to break the current resistance and we see what it looks like on the six hour this is what it looks like going to the daily chart here's what it looks like that 200 day moving average around a dollar 83 
would be my next target to the upside. And you notice if Cardano makes that move through this 50-day moving average to this area, Cardano will very much be, be testing right below the Fibonacci uh, area. Um, and actually, let's go back to the weekly and kind of chart this. Cardano will be testing this area that we just charted. Swing high to swing low, upper trend line, confluent area, that 20-week moving average. That 20-week moving average is 204. For Cardano to get there, it will take this next move to the next resistance. And this is it. This is it, everybody. I know I'm just throwing moving average resistance out there, but Cardano is in the in the middle of trying to make this bullish reversal on a macro scale. And these these layers of resistance are huge. So each step through each resistance is a huge milestone for Cardano. Right now, as we're making this this uptrend, right? As Cardano is trying to put this uptrend. It's not, there's not too much short-term structure. That's why we don't see a ton of, of these short-term patterns to track right now. One thing I am eyeing up though, I wanna just mention this, is this. If Cardano gets resistance at this $1.60 area, what I see potentially in play at this, at this lower trend line of resistance is this. There's that lower trend line. We have kind of this left shoulder potentially. We have a head. If we get this dip that we just talked about, some type of retracement from this, resistance and it's a higher low dip cardano continues up to this neckline again we have an inverse head and shoulders and check this out if we look at this inverse head and shoulders we have a two dollar plus target to the upside and what does that do and this is charted very speculatively this isn't me saying we're breaking this by january 12th though it could but a very speculative looking inverse head and shoulders this could be the move that cardano needs to to, to break out of this symmetrical triangle speculative symmetrical triangle that we started tracking uh and continue to the upside and not only continue to upside continue to key levels through key levels like the 20 week moving average here on the weekly chart and that's right there sitting up here confluent with that upper trend line confluent with that that fibonacci resistance right around two dollars we can just call it two dollars uh for cardano huge resistance the biggest resistance so that's Cardano right now. We're going to keep tracking it. I think it's extremely important. And I, I, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, this is not financial advice, everybody. This is not financial advice. This is me tracking the data. This could go either way, especially being at huge resistance right now. But we're going to continue tracking the data. And it's important to know what crypto markets in general are doing. You can see Bitcoin making a bit of a move out of its own Fibonacci support that we were just testing. Cardano trying to, or Bitcoin trying to break out of that 618, that 50500 to $51,000 area, or Bitcoin trying to get some separation from that area. So let's track it. Let's see Cardano doing big things, at least on the short term. It's doing what it needs to do to get that bullish reversal. It's already in play. It's already in motion. Let's track ADA to see what it continues to do. I appreciate all of you coming by. Hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you so much. God bless.